separated from the space station module. It's still spinning. There's nothing to stop it, so it'll just keep spinning. One KSP. Dish, I decided to do this uh, because, you know, it's really high profile, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's not a good thing. This isn't a good thing, but I wanted to use it as an opportunity to teach people about orbital mechanics and how stuff actually comes down. It was a good, uh, hey, it wasn't a bad idea. Okay, weather tech, let me see. A sky gazer in Italy, part of the virtual telescope project, started the Chinese rocket core, currently circling the Earth in an unstable orbit. God, that terminology is horrible. Um, that was, okay, but that was on the 6th from the picture. Can I see it from New Jersey? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please last. It's time sensitive, bro. Bro, I'm in the most I'm in the most northeastern city of Italy at the border of Slovenia. Could you see it? Yes. Yeah, low on the horizon, Swishio. Go up on a hill and look south, or south side. Look towards look towards Corsica. Last. EJ, we basically got a distributed information operation here. It's great. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, it's, I, I, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't like that this is doing this, but, you know, there, I've seen, guys, I've seen so much goddamn misinformation about what this thing actually is and what it's doing that it, it, it I, yeah, no, it's better to be here. Lundprod, what was your last? Let me see. You can zoom in and tilt the view. Okay. It isn't spinning good. Well, keep in mind, spinning could be this, right? It could be this, or it could be that. Or it could be a misty flip, you know what I mean? Any skateboarders around? What's that, Golden Goose? Okay. Jim, what do you got there? Shout out to the Long March 5B passing over Patos de Min Minas. That's... Patos de Minas, isn't that Brazil? And that's from that's from the fifth, so that was two days ago. Are there any Starlink trains over Florida? I, uh, no, not right now. You think try is try is trying to not do this, or is it more of a? I'm not sure, Van. It, I think it's a. You know, the probability of it coming down and hurting somebody is really low, so we're just, screw it. The, the way they assess risk over there with launching their rockets is very different than how we do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dates are backwards. Sorry, my American is showing. Question, due to its size, do you think it will impact somewhere or burn up in the atmosphere? Parts will come down. Oh, yeah, parts will come down. Yeah, it's not high enough to obliterate the entire thing, hero. I tried to say hi for my computer at home. I mean, it said, said stop, but it's still kind of cool. Oh, okay. The Brazil thing is not two days ago. Yeah, I, yeah, racing. Sorry, it took me a second to remember that everybody else does dates differently than us. What's that weather? What do you got? Somebody has legit video. Let me see. That's very sped up, but... Where is that? Where is that taken? Where was that thing taken from? Jeez. Could it fall over Brazil? No. That's from two hours ago. Here. Weather. Get the link teed up. Ready? Post the link now. How you follow the rest of the world's backwards? Yeah, John, I don't know what to tell you. Could it fall in Lisbon? It's not going to hit Lisbon. Discovery. Go it's going to go up. Uh, so this line right here is the trajectory. So Braga or Porto. If you're in Lisbon, I would look up. Go out. I'm serious. Go outside right now. It's it's coming. If there's anything left, hopefully it just deorbited over here and you guys don't see anything. Azores, look up, dude. Seriously, straight up. 
I mean, if you if you don't see anything literally in the next five minutes, looking straight up, you'll you'll see it. Trust me, it'll be it'll look like a bright star shooting across the sky. You won't you won't miss it. Um. Okay, weather. Hold on. Pie guy, can you give permit to weather gone wild? Refresh for updated predictions. Okie dokie. Yeah, you guys should be able to even see this during the day. I mean, it's it's going... Guys, the thing's going 17,000 miles an hour. It's really, really fast. Isn't spinning good? The shuttle ET was spinning. Uh, Ryan, okay. I, I, I love that you're asking questions, dude. But I've answered your question already. Uh, I've answered... And not only that, like... I've answered... You've, you've asked multiple questions multiple times. And I've answered it every time, dude. Like... Do you, like, ask a question and then walk away or something? Like, I got to go fast because there's a lot of people to talk to, dude. But you got to do me a solid. If you ask a question, I understand you can't be at the keyboard 24-7 like I am because it's my stream. But, dude, you got to keep... If you post the same question over and over again, it really screws me up. Gray is past, red is updated. Looks like there's a new predicted re-entry point. Okay, Crete. Uh, what what island is that? Pel Peloponnese? Yeah, I see it over there, guys. Like, once again, it's probably already gone. If you're in Spain, in Madrid, mira. Is this real tracking? It's a real, it's approximation, Boris. It's close. It's Click the little clock icon to sync to current time. Okay. Okay, 174.39. They don't care. This is literally what the Chinese higher up. Common practice across the world for upper stages of rockets is to burn up when re-entering the atmosphere. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't care. Oh no, Suez again. What time do we say it burned up? Well, I mean, really, goalie, it's just really at this point in time, it's it's just like seriously what we can get through Twitter and and stuff. Bono, my racetrack, mate. Bono, Bono, my tires are gone, mate. There's a crate. There's a crater on the track, mate. Bono, I can't drive. Gets first. Bono, oh, so I just want to thank everybody. We have the best fans. Gracias to my to my Spanish friends. We have the best fat. What? Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Okay. Flying over Tarragona now, or Tarragona? No, there's no, there's no ñ over that. Okay, coming over Sardinia. Is it coming down this orbit? The projected re-entry is over here. Careful, King. There's some clouds. You couldn't see anything. Okay. Yuridio, cómo estás, amigo? Can it fall on Chile. This is where, this is the projection, this is the track of where it's probably going to come down, guys. The late projection would be over here. So, if it's going to come down, it's probably going to come down anywhere between Perth and Madrid. Most likely, judging by these numbers and what we've been hearing. I mean, once again, I'm I'm waiting on somebody to get a video of this thing. If nobody sees the thing, that means it already it's already deorbited. There's some bits in there from Duende. Gracias. Ogden, what do you got? Yeah, jeez, let's let's not let's not, dude. I'm gonna zap you on that one. I'm on the roof and have a clear sky. South, Swishio. Look due south, low on the horizon, man. Looks like his last orbit was 140 42 by 176. Jap, we don't know for sure. Still on orbit. What do you got, Devious? Acabo de ver pasar esto. A todo hostia. No joke. Okay, so yeah, it's still going. There's a that's what I was waiting for, Devious. Oh god, look what it's doing over a few minutes ago. Yep. See last. Okay. That was a video of a scud missile strike during Oh, okay. Jack, I got you. Now try from Istanbul. Yeah, Bozard, look south. Look towards look towards um Izmir. Okay. 
It's over Sardinia. Can I post another link? Whether you should be whitelisted for now, just post, dude. Is Merc following this for arrow upgrades? Probably. Well, the last video we saw was somebody on the Iberian Peninsula saying they saw it fly. So, I think it's still going. You don't need to whisper it to me whether you can just... This freaking rock is making me nervous. Is this real? Let me see. D don't whisper it to me. You can just post links. All right, over Calabria right now. I don't know if that's real or not. It could be. Interesting. Well, keep in mind, guys, that the, at this point in time, this data is probably inaccurate because they they can't take into account aerodynamics in real time. We don't have it's not it's not broadcasting telemetry, so we don't know. This is just like Santa's no red tracking. It is. You already answered this already, but what's the max time for re-entry? Like how long at most? It's going to come down in the next 45 minutes, Boris. In the next 45 minutes, we'll know exactly what's going on. I did a bet that it'll drop in the Mediterranean Sea. What were the odds, EJ? It better drop there. Well, okay. It's flying just south of Peloponnese right now. Uh, north of Crete in a second. F5, it's way behind. Okay, okay. When it re-enters, how much further will it fly? Um, not much, Ryan, because re-entry means specifically that you're not flying anymore it's going to come back down it, 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 it's plus or minus dude it's a nominal window because we don't know how the thing aerodynamically is flying through the atmosphere now it's not ej it's eg <laughs> what is it that's falling avenger it's a long march 5b course stage it's about as it's a little it's about the same size as the falcon 9 first stage but just wider it's pretty big Close the window. You're letting all the space junk in. I'm going to give it a refresh here. Okay, it should be over Crete. Flying just over Heraklion now. The altitude is really going down now. Well, it's approaching perigee, Sneaky. Once again, I wouldn't trust these numbers. I'm At this point, we really should just wait until somebody says, What's that going across the sky on Twitter? You know what I mean? Once again, I haven't seen any video of this thing, dude, but it is 4 a.m. over there, so people are probably sleeping. The only people that would be up to see this thing are, you know, space nutcases. It's stuff and not space updated. Uh. Uh, stuff in space is a little bit behind. Oh, no, it's fine. No, no, it's it's updated. Those numbers haven't changed, guys. This is just an approximation. I can't see it from Istanbul, okay? It was cloudy over here. Couldn't see anything. Got it. What's funny here is that there are probably offices in the EU and the U.S. Space Force doing exactly the same thing. Space nut's going to space nut. I either missed it or it's too low on the horizon or it is already deorbited, but nothing here. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't understand... People reporting nothing here is a good thing, because that means that means it already came down. This one was taken south of Madrid just a couple minutes ago. Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. Oh boy. Yep, there. Yep, that's. Yep. Okay, that's great. So that means it's the opposite of what I just said. Can't see it in Des Moines. Yeah, there's an Earth in the way. You'd have to look down. Just came from the outside, saw a small reddish yellow over central Portugal. Filler, was it, did it look like it was going about the speed of an airplane, like, 
that's high up. It should it should look like it's going about that fast. Like, was that the speed that it was going across the sky? Or was it a little faster than that? If it was a little faster than that, then that's okay. It should be, it should look, deorbiting debris looks like it's going a little bit faster than a plane. Impossible in Madrid, it's definitely dark by now. It's near the horizon, not too high, Alberto, okay. Hi from Madrid, I just saw it a few minutes ago, okay, okay. I mean, there was a light, but it was super faint. It was blinking. Yeah, okay. It was something burning in the atmosphere, and it was bigger than a plane. Okay. Yeah, Phil, you probably saw it, dude. Okay. Serious question. Does the Long March have a serious chance of hurting anybody if it survives re-entry over a populated area? The chances are low, Connor, but it could still happen. Sure, it's a big metal object falling from space. This thing's the size of a semi-truck. Yeah, some of it will, uh, some of it might make it through. It's possible. Once again, it, it could, it might completely destroy itself during reentry, but that all depends on how you reenter. That depends on if the thing's tumbling, if it's spinning, what what the aerodynamics are going to do. This is why no one can really predict accurately when the thing's going to go down. You know, like that's why I'm basically relying on people. Oh my God, what's that? And like linking it in chat. Madrid injury times. What is that? Who took this video? Nash Peters from the Injury Times. Where, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Did it look like that filler? Yep. Yeah. Like I said, it kind of looks like a plane going across the sky, but it's yeah, a little. It's brighter. I mean, that could be it. I don't know. The video is kind of. You know? Okay, going. Uh, it should go over Riyadh in a second here. It's 160 up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Check out Forge's video. I saw it. That doesn't look like it. it that looks like a plane flying around or a helicopter. Try, try this one. All right. That's a little fast. Maybe. Actualization. Hasta el momento no se ha detectado el ingreso. A la atmosfera de del cohete chino Long March 5B. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it might be it. That's it's possible. Um, that's going a little bit fast, but then again, it, you would be going faster during re-entry. So it's possible. Who subbed? Rocket. Hey, 52 month resub. 52 minus 10 is the answer to life. It's the same that you said. Ah, that's Spanish. C. Si. Hablo espanol un poco. Un, un poco más. Sometimes you don't pronounce the H. You're an H. That video is from 15 minutes ago. Oh man, it's approaching Oman. Okay, so it made it over Riyadh. Let's see if they, anybody posted from there. Nice break. The only Spanish you speak is go. <laughs> nice. You just saw it. What is this? Nad division saw it over Israel. Let's see what we got. Make sure we give credit. Nad division here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Nope. A little windy. Hmm. Okay. Guys, actually, look, judging by if these... So, okay. Those shots, it's kind of blinking on and off, which means that 
it hasn't broken up yet because you haven't seen a bunch of pieces fly off of it, right? And also, uh, it didn't. None of these phones are picking it up. It's not very bright, meaning that it's got a little ways to go before re-entering from these pictures that I've seen. So it looks like this prediction over here, or this prediction over here, might be on board with what we're looking for. That's from Gaza. Okay, is someone tracking it to update the predictions? Uh, the Space Force is tracking it, Kerbal King. Yeah, uh, side profile, the booster. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Just tumbling, Rocket Guy. I mean, the th thing clearly hasn't broken up, but it is the re yeah. That's the the reason why it's blinking like that is because it's t it's tumbling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Austin, what do you got? Okay. But yeah, if you just see one pulsing thing going across the sky, that means it's not, it's beginning re-entry. It's at entry interface for the most part. And keep in mind, if you have an entry interface, meaning that's the part where you get into the, atmos the atmosphere of whatever you're around, that doesn't necessarily mean it's deorbiting, okay? It, pulsating like that is just plasma accumulating on the booster. It might not decay this time, or it might take a little more time to decay. Uh, it, it's possible. Still intact over Jordan. How many kilometers until re-entry interface? We're past the EI, dude. This is coming from Walid on Twitter. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? See how it's pulsating? That's the booster flipping end over end. See? That's just the focus. But see how it's kind of twinkling? It that, It's the stage flipping end over end. But once again, it hasn't broken up. And uh, it's still one piece. So that tells me that it's not too low into the atmosphere, to be honest with you. How does this cover coverage compare to an actual rocket launch? I'm having fun, I'll be honest with you. But this is I'm only covering this so I can teach people about orbital mechanics. I don't want this to come. I want it to come down in the ocean. I want no one to see this re-entry. The fact that we got footage of you know this thing re-entering already is not, it's not a good thing, but... How cool is that you can track a space? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, the pulsing slowed it down. It's tumbling must have really been affected by the atmosphere. Um, um, yeah, okay. Got it. The orbital pass takes it over Florida. I'm going to try to see it. All right, Phil. This is good news, though. It means it'll likely come down over water. Yeah, exactly. Once it made it past the Arabian Peninsula, yeah. I mean, there's Diego Garcia out here and then Perth, but... Uh, I mean, I, that's that's obvious. That's not good. Yeah, this isn't good. Hopefully no one, you know, hopefully this track goes over Perth and nobody in Australia starts posting about this on Twitter. What altitude do we start seeing plasma burn at this speed? Well, goalie, altitude... Uh, there's a lot of things that... There's a lot of things that, it takes in, that you have to take into account there. It's not... I mean, altitude and speed, I don't know. Uh, you could get plasma at a high altitude going really, really freaking fast. It's, it, it really, at this, you're not going to get much plasma. At the altitude that it's going at, I suppose, like if you just want me to approximate, uh, 28,150 at 150 kilometers, it, it's like the footage that you see. It's not a lot, but it, it it's skirting the, it's really starting to skirt into the thick stuff. You know what I mean? Don't hit Peter Beck, wrong country. I don't know, Artie. Let's let's just focus on the mechanics, dude. Uh, orbital mechanics here. It's the line on the top or the bottom is the next orbit. Uh, Ryan, this one is the next orbit. This way, the Earth spins that way. So the the ground track lines go to the go from right to left because the Earth is spinning left to right. I, I know this stuff's all backwards. Space is weird like that. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Hey, let's chill on chill. All right. Forge, you know, this was a high enough profile thing. Well, maybe, maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, we probably shouldn't do that anymore. But don't, they, guys, their their space program is in their infancy, and you know, I'm not one to to give them a break. You know, this is not okay. But I think everybody here is on the same page at the very least. You know what I mean? Try to try to ease off on bashing them, okay? What do the yellow and red lines mean? This is indicative of altitude. The white line is the ground track. So a ground track is a line projected on a map, or in this case a globe, of where the stage is going. That's its current position. That was its last orbit. We started, I started coverage of this when it was over Jakarta. Uh, and then 
this is where it is right now. That's the next orbit over here. Um, once again, the reason why the orbit moves is because Earth is spinning underneath it. Once you launch something into space, it stays there and Earth keeps spinning. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of stuff. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. Uh, so the orbits appear to process across. If you project them onto a map like this, they appear to move. It's currently dropping about 120 meters a second at 150 kilometers. I don't. How do you know that? Last, if you have time, what is the space force using to track this? Telescopes and missile detection systems. Come on, baby, you make it into Florida. Nice pants up. I, your last got lost, Jackery. I'm sorry, man. This is why a Sohub KSP2 has ground tracks in the tracking station. Oh, how cool would that actually be? The, yeah, in KSP, you click on that and you get a ground track instead. That would be really cool, Rocket. I like that. See this. What's up, Liam? Over the Dead Sea, lowest point. Okay. All right. This looks, this looks legit. Let me see. So this is the Dead Sea in Jordan. This is coming from uh, Sidafuni. Right over Miguel. All right. Yeah, that's that's still pretty high up. That's still pretty high up in the atmosphere. It's enough to see plasma, some plasma accumulating on the booster, but it's not, uh, yeah, see how it's pulsating? You can really see it good in Sid's video here. That's really good. Really, really good optics. It's not good that the stage is coming down, but see how it's twinkling? Yeah, that's still pretty high up. So, and once again, that's from Jordan, so... Uh, that's from Jordan right there, so it was still in one piece as it went as it entered across the Arabian Peninsula here. See King of Hearts link. Oh, from Aerospace Corporation. So the Aerospace Corporation is a company that that specializes in tracking this stuff. The absence of new data sets could indicate that Long March 5B re-entered. This fits both our own latest prediction, uncertainty range, and space tracking orgs prediction. Without confirmed video footage, a decay message, or a new data set, we cannot yet confirm we're still watching. Our latest prediction of the Long March 5B re-entry is 9th of May 2021, 302 plus or minus two hours along the ground track shown here. Okay, that would be out over the Southeast Pacific. No, Hellfish, uh, international, international, the Outer Space Treaty. If if something, if a capsule or a piece of space equipment from another country lands in your country, you intern it and then return it. I like how they pointed out the yeah the yeah the solar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, what about map shot? All right, so we have another 18 Space Control Squadron prediction area. What would this look like from the ISS if they could see it? Pretty much exactly how it would look like from on the surface, just from with Earth in the background instead of space with a background goalie. Same distances apart, dude. <laughs> Why at orbits on a map wave-like? Because when you, when you take something spherical and impose it on a 2D image, it's sinusoidal, so it looks like a squiggle. Looks like a squiggly line. Is Panico, what's that? It's a meme, but it's funny. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody linked this already. That Yeah, that's good. Be interesting to overlay the ISS track. Uh, I can show you where the ISS is. Huh, ISS is out in front of it. 429 by 425 at 51.6 degrees inclined. The other one is 211 by 150 at 41. Uh, so... Yeah, yeah, the ISS is actually kind of close to it. The ISS is over here somewhere. They wouldn't be able to see it. it there's a planet in the way. There's a, well, there's not a planet. There's a continent in the way. <sighs> Yeah, victory. I mean, it looked. Is it? It went over the. 
Maldives right there, and then Diego Garcia is somewhere out here. I, I for, always forget where it is. Also remind people that uh, the Earth is tilted. Rockets don't launch directly east. That is the... Rockets don't always launch... The, it, it, local compass orientation nuclear launching east, but yeah, you're right. We, we're, it's got a, what is it, a 21... 27, no, 27 degree axial tilt. I hope someone's in the cupola with a long lens just in case. You think Thomas Pesquet doesn't have his doesn't have that doesn't have the eight hundred mil ready fragman? Six one, you've been to Diego Garcia? Cool man. What is Diego Garcia? I only know Christmas. Diego Garcia is an island out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And uh yeah, the US has a a big, big, big air force base there. All right, so probably another 10 to 15 minutes before we, before the track crosses Perth. Now, once again, I'll be honest. I, I don't want this thing to come down so where people can see it because that means it could hit someone. I don't want that to happen. But on the other hand, this is a pretty pretty busy shipping lane right here. All the ships, I mean, all the ships are going up here. They 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 sail up here and around the coast of India. So. I mean, it's not the worst. Set chat in slow-mo. No, I'm good. It's starting to drop faster now. Okay, Roger. Oh, yeah, tech? Yeah, it's out in the middle of nowhere, dude. Is there a sanction for the situation? Uh, Lingoza, if, well, that depends on the outcome here. Once again, man, I, I, I'm not here to be like, oh, my God, I hope it hits somebody. No, no. I, what I like to do, if you don't know me, is I like to, I like orbital mechanics. So I like how, I like to learn how things fly around in space and how you navigate in space, right? I know a lot about this. All these numbers, I can tell you what they mean. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to use this opportunity to tell people, one, about space debris and why it's stupid to leave space debris up in space, right? Two, it's even worse to leave space debris unpowered and un, unguided up in space. It's ballistic. Blizzard right now. It's about the. It's basically the equivalent of a school bus. A school bus, re-entering from space. You, the school bus has no satellite guidance systems on it because it's a school bus. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. But either way, I do this to teach people about how orbital mechanics work. Uh, you know, I don't want this to. I don't want. I, I. You know, I'm hoping that nobody sees it over Perth here in a second. You know, I hope that nobody sees it because that means it re-entered over here. From Saudi. Okay, let me see. You know, I, I, I don't want this stuff to come down. It's very irresponsible for to do this, but hopefully this gets enough publicity that they'll be like, oh crap, maybe we shouldn't do that anymore. All right, this is from Saudi Arabia. Let's see what we got. This is coming from user <laughs> Luffy. Okay. Yeah, still in one piece over Saudi Arabia from the sky of Kuryat. Still in one piece. Yep. Okay. I mean, the thing... Still in one piece there. That's not good. Yeah, Zen, right? It was an error. Or a found out of... De well, the last one led Gary that they launched did the same thing, but nobody gave a crap before. I hope not, ArcSign. I hope they wake up. Because this is bad. Like, it's bad for space. You don't want to make... Yeah, John, something like that. I don't know, Zelter. It depends if they keep launching the 5B. Could the Space Force track co track the core from Diego Garcia? Maybe. I don't know. It depends if they have a tracking station there. Is it is it because of the altitude that it seems like it's moving so much faster than anything in low Earth orbit? Well, goalie, yeah. Something that's circularized in a 400 kilometer by 400 kilometer orbit or... Uh, 270 miles that way is going to be going slower than something that's in a lower orbit. So yeah, of course it looks faster. That and if you're ever if you're on a suborbital trajectory and your apogee is at 270 miles, you're falling from 270 miles up. So if the orbital speed at 270 miles circular or 400 kilometers circular is 17,500 miles an hour, if you're falling from there, entry interface, you're probably going I don't know 18, 19, 20,000 miles an hour. Uh, so what is that, like 32,000 kph, something like that? Well, it could be somewhere around 30. This says 28, 
but it definitely would be going up if it's arrow breaking uh, because you're lowering perigee, so you're falling back down. So this thing is, I mean, it's going fast, dude. Speaking of space debris and all that, what's your take on Starlink and the complaints for astronomy? I mean, Nim, from this point of view, all the Starlink debris is powered and tracked. So I don't have that big of a problem with it. And if something does happen with a Starlink satellite, if it malfunctions, it is in a decaying orbit and will it will decay. It'll use the solar the solar panel as a gigantic air brake, and it'll because even up at even up at 400 kilometers, guys, where the ISS is, orbits still decay up there. You're still experiencing aerodynamic drag uh, to an extent. It's just not there's not enough atmosphere to be useful. There's enough to cause drag. Don't go outside the ISS and take your helmet off. You'll among us yourself. That's not good. You don't want to do that. But there is enough up there to cause drag. Pretty much up to about five 500 kilometers or 370 miles that way. Uh, that's where the atmosphere can really decay your orbit. All the Starlink satellites from a, a you know an, a ballistic piece of debris, if they if they break, they'll just fall back down, which is good. In terms of astronomy, yeah, that does kind of suck. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. That 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 does suck. But also, I mean. There are ways to there are ways to get around it. I don't think it made amateur astronomy impossible. It just made it a little bit harder to do. Which I don't know. I mean, that it seems like a very personal kind of take on it. Me, I don't. I'm not really into astronomy, but I know this is screwing with people somewhere. And I can't say that I wouldn't be annoyed if it was screwing with my work. You know. But yeah, thanks. Great. Make my job harder. Lovely. But on the other hand, as a space fan, I really like seeing Starlink launches. There's another one going off and about four hours <laughs> it's ascending last see last last see last oh, last message okay check this maybe it stopped spinning well aerodynamics would eventually stabilize it let me see discovery go at throttle up uh let me take a look yeah, I agree. I have a hey boo five month resub. He had it for a second. It's behind the clouds. I agree, man. It's doing this, so it's not spinning anymore. But it's it's kind of the arrow is kind of trying to stabilize it. But there's no stabilizer, so it's just gonna. Holy crap! What camera is this? Who did, what what the hell are you using? Abdullah, what is that? What freaking camera is that? Holy crap! Dude, you could see it clear as day! Damn, dude! <laughs> it looked like a plane? Yeah, it didn't have any wings, though. Well, he wasn't using a cell phone camera. It Look at it again. It's, it, it looks like a plane? I don't know. iPhone 12 marketing. Yeah. Link, link. <laughs> All right. That has some competition. That may have been an airplane, guys. It didn't look like one. I mean, it, it looked it looked like it didn't have any wings. But then again, that could have just been that that's far away. Who knows? Drop the link. What link? Link. I already X'd out of it. Yeah, Nemesis. I mean, either way, the guy tracked the plane from freaking the ground. That's pretty good. There's a lot of astronomy lovers here. It's in our blood. Yep, yep. Check this. Maybe it stopped spinning. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, that's the video I, I just watched a second ago. Um, let, me, let me look at it again. I'm looking at it again, guys, just to, just to be sure. I don't know, man. That doesn't look like an airplane, but who knows? All right. Well, let's see if we start seeing videos from the from Australian buddies. 
Yeah, pray. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Check your altitude button in the right of the track. It's ascending, so I should miss it at least. Tessa, this information is not real time, dude. Another one from Saudi uh, Saudi Arabia that it looks similar. Okay. All right, it's over Perth right now. Path. If you're in Perth, look up. Tell me what you see. Yep. Perth is overcast. Dang it. Are we Skylab now? It looked like a private jet flying by, so quite the camera shot on that. I mean, Jacka, that's cool. I mean, I remember when Das and I went plane watching with the P-1000 that one time at Wallops. That was really cool. We we could read the logo off a 747 at 35,000 feet, which is pretty damn cool. We read the logo of the plane with the P-1000 because it was flying, and we, we looked up at the side. You can see the logo on the tail, clear as day. That VOD's still floating around somewhere. The stage was like, oh, I'm over Perth now. Yeah, never mind. Let's not go to Perth. It is a silly, it is a silly place. Do you think it came close enough for maybe Peter Beck to point his tracking cameras? At? Peter Beck is in New Zealand. Australia is not New Zealand, guys. Guys. <laughs> You're Australian. Be Australian. I don't know what that means, Lid Gary. Okay. Uh, okay, so if it flies over New Zealand, goalie, I, I doubt it. They don't have optical equipment. I mean, that's the location of impact. We don't know. It will pass over New Zealand. Yeah, so I'm told. They're all upside down. Same difference. Oof. How can I sleep before seeing the other crash and burn in, in SNL? Oh yeah, that that that's coming on in a second. That's right. The data sets we use to make predictions are generated when the object we are tracking passes over a collection of sensors across the planet. We will know Long March 5B is down when it fails to pass over these sensors, in a, a couple of sensors in a row. From Australia. Okay. Man, you guys are really into this. This is more popular than a freaking, than a dang rocket launch. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright, that's from Sky News. Okay. Their toilets flush backward. Best P-1000 clip. Was when you watched Doss zooming in on the full moon. Yeah, that was cool. Have you worked in the space field? I've worked with NASA here on Twitch, Astro, but I do STEM outreach here, here on Twitch. I'm not an engineer by trade. I play a lot of Kerbal Space Program. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, that's not that's not something I'm going to go put on my damn resume. Um, I use Kerbal to teach people about orbital mechanics. I'm self-taught when it does come to this stuff. So I've worked with NASA in a STEM outreach capacity. Like, I've, I've hosted panels with NASA at TwitchCon before, for what it's worth. I've interviewed people from Blue Origin for Twitch. Uh, and I've, I've interviewed astronauts that have been on, another, on, her, on the moon. Talked to Charlie Duke. I interviewed him. So, like, I'm not, I'm more of an outreach kind of guy. But I like teaching the, I like, I like getting into the engineering and learning. And when, if I learn, I can teach it and communicate it better. So I'm doing more PR for space at this point. But, yeah. I've worked with NASA on things in the past, uh, but yeah, not uh, not in any like like not like in a physical capacity. Meaning like I don't no work for them. I'm not a rocket scientist. It's my first time here, and I appreciate the knowledge. Are you orbital mechanics? Thank you. No problem. Cosmic orbital mechanics is something I, I know really good, and that, that's not just from playing KSP. KSP won't teach you everything. It won't teach you about perturbations or or, or precession and uh, and uh, you know solar winds and all this other things is it down yet not sure Dimitri. oh yeah okay panta yeah <laughs> yeah i got you king of hearts what's that discovery no it's China's human up. space flight agency predicts long march 5b re-entry occurred at about two zero two hundred utc today plus or minus 15 minutes Discovery, go at throttle. Hey, B Money and Hey, what's this? Flight Sim and B Money gifted five subs each. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. 
Can't imagine how much the ISS would be visible at the... Oh, yeah, it's going to be bright, Supercraft. You'll see it. China says it landed. Well, let's see if anybody in Tasmania will... Uh, you'll see it, so... In, fucking, what's the city that's up Discovery, go at drop. Byron, what are you doing, man? Come on, now. All right, so once again, this is an approximation of a track here. Up. You're a local friendly lurker. Thanks, guys. you got a scam train going. Very good. So if you're in Melbourne, look. Look Discovery, stuff. Go and throttle up. I thought you said you cash strapped, dude. What the heck? Oh, jeez. If you're in Melbourne, look south, low on the horizon. Like, if you're on the coast, you should be able to really see it here. The bits... The translation is incomplete. The prediction also says it's predicted to land at 2838 East, 3443 North. Orbiting now says possible re-entry 43 minutes ago. Please wait for the follow-up report for details. Yeah, I don't know. Keep the hype train away from populated areas. Wiser, thank you, buddy. Guys, the footage that we saw from, that we got from the folks in Saudi Arabia, Jordan and stuff, no, it wouldn't. It, well, maybe it maybe reentry occurred here, but we didn't see the stage breaking up and stuff. That's you. You can usually see the stage breaking apart as plasma well Discovery. literally Go incinerates and it, and it'll look like a stream of stuff coming down, almost like a willow tree or, or something. I am forty is not much. Okay, Wepler, black horse down and Wepler gifted four subs. Thank you, appreciate it. The footage from Saudi Arabia was a plane, man. Well, even then, the footage from Jordan, uh, was that a plane too? Like, that's the thing, man. It, it, some of that footage that we saw from uh, the people in the Middle East, that was, some of it was a stage, some of it may have been a plane, don't know. So this isn't a radar track. With what radar, Irv? No, this is an approximation. O-F-O. -O. You guys are linking stuff too fast, I can't click on all this. Chinese rocket will across the skies of Oman. All right, that one looks legit. Let's see. From this is from zero F zero again from Luffy. Oh yeah, that's starting to really hit the plasma. See what I'm talking about? It starts to look like a shooting star. Yeah. So reentry could have happened out over the Mal Mal out over the Maldives. That's possible. It looks like it may have just started to disintegrate over Oman. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. So hopefully it came down in the frigging ocean, dude. Capital Leaf. Give it a sub to Roy Body. Roy Body. Nice name, dude. Blade Runner, man. All right. Well. Fellas, let's see if we get anybody from New Zealand saying they see any flames up over the sky. I think it, I think it may have gone. Once again, this is just an approximation. This doesn't take into account real-time orbital perturbations. What? Okay, so if, if I'm speaking another language there. Basically, once it starts to hit the atmosphere, we don't know how the stage is going to fly. Nobody does. We can only give estimates of when and where it's going to come down and how it's going to fly through the atmosphere. It's certainly not designed to do that. So nobody's ever tested how this stage is going to come back down and land, you know? So you can only give approximate, approximate, approximations. Tism, what longitude was Perigee at? Uh, 150? Is this a hoax? Uh... That looks like the SpaceX upper stage. Who knew Space Junk would be, would be as big of a hit as one hop? Yeah. Also, we would have info with Perth if it was there. Well, it was cloudy there, Lid Gary. If it's still up, Leo Labs will get it on their radar. Yep, yep. So we're going to we're gonna have to kind of wait. I'll let you know if it came down, came down over here. From what I saw from that last footage that we got from Oman, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it re-entered somewhere over here somewhere, right along this prediction. Discovery, go and drop 18th up. Space, Control Sp Space Control Squadron prediction. But we'll find out in a second here. Shaggy, 37 months and Sirius gifted a sub to Thomas. <laughs> Why is the altitude rising? 
this is just an approximation of the last uh, the last time they were able to track it. The last time they got a uh, like they're using telescopes, Hadar. They're using telescopes to look at this thing. That's how we figure out what what orbits things are in. We seriously take a telescope and look at it and see how fast it goes across the sky and what direction it's going. And from that, you can figure out if you can figure out how fast it's moving across the sky, you can figure out its orbital velocity. If you can figure out its orbital velocity, you can figure out everything else about the orbit. Yeah, it's like solving for different variables, right? Um, this right here is the last time they had a, a ping on the vehicle. Not a ping, because ping implies that it's communicating. It's not. It's just a piece of, it's a piece of metal. That's it. So, based off of the last, the last time they got a good track on it, that's what these numbers are. This is just an approximation. This is the trajectory it would have kept going in based off of the last track if there was no atmosphere in the way. So, it may have re-entered. We don't know for sure. Would refreshing the page potentially give you more up-to-date tracking? It depends on whoever whoever updates MapShot, dude. Spacetrack.org says it's down. I mean, once again, we'll figure that out in a moment here. Crash Welder, what's that? Skit from Skit. Spoke with the team. We have indications that the long march is down. Once they got ra once they get radar confirmation of nothing in orbit after 300 UTC, they will release the final message. With time, y'all can stop hiding in your bunkers. Okay, Racing Pro, hey, thanks, man. Spacetrack.org repeated. Space Track works with the space, very space with the 18 Space Control Squadron. Very reputable. Let's see what, if Jonathan's saying anything. Discovery, go at throttle. I'd have to say it's probably down, dudes. I mean, once again, we'll figure, we'll know in a second. That's what Space Track wants you to think. Get the tinfoil hats out. What's that, Khaled? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a picture. Yeah. If that falls on Hobbiton, I'll be sad. Okay, let's see. Let's see if anybody, anybody, like seriously, like, you know, we give Twitter a lot of crap, but let's see if anybody sees anything over here in New Zealand. Duel, that appears to show it breaking up. Yeah, that's from yesterday. That's from yesterday, dude. Even better, Space Track is a USAF project, so the military is retweeting it. Got it. Yeah, that last footage that we saw of it going over Oman, uh right here looks like it was starting to break up so i'm guessing it came down over here over mal, mal near the maldives Archip archipelago and some somewhere near diego garcia they probably saw it i'll bet you bet you they saw it let's go back over here yeah no problem dude it's all good if gandalf stops it from passing it'd be pretty dope you shall not pass Uh, platinum there's a really good there's a pretty good indication that it, it did re-enter over here with the 18th spcs prediction 18th space control squadron so it's a satellite monitoring division of the space force um i'm gonna go ahead and guess that it probably duked out like right around here right where the prediction is based off of what we saw so there was a video of it from oman and it, it, you could see that it was starting to really get a lot of plasma on it, and it started to leave a trail. It's probably plasma burning the paint off the booster, if I had to guess. Just a guess. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't freaking know. Um, yeah, but once you start seeing a nice big plasma trail that something looks something like a comet, that means it's pretty, pretty much it. Uh, I'm not sure. C22. Paint. All the paint came off on launch. Yeah. Right. Anyone see it? Uh, I don't know, Sky King. Don't answer, though. Um, we got footage of it from Oman over here, and that's a, that was the last time I, anybody had a video of it because it went out over the, um, the Indian Ocean. I think it's down. Check Twitter. All right. <laughs> Will do. 
How did I get lucky? It's like such a high chance of an ocean landing, basically no chance of hitting someone or something. I mean, Pedi, uh, Pedagi, that's your name. I can pronounce letters correctly, I swear. Look, space debris coming back down, even if it comes down in water, what if it lands in a shipping lane? What if it, I mean, it's not like, oh, just because it lands in the water, that doesn't mean there's humans there? I mean, yes, it's a lot less likely. I understand what you're saying. But uh, what if the stage came down and it got stuck in the Suez Canal? That could have happened. See? No, I'm just kidding. Um, it doesn't make it any less better. But, I mean, this was basically a roll of the dice that it came out over the ocean, not in a shipping lane. That was totally by chance. I mean, it could have been the last one. The, the last one of these that they launched up, dude, almost hit New York City. Nobody cared, though, because I don't know why. I don't know why this one is so high profile and the other one wasn't. But the, uh, last year, yeah, uh, the stage almost crashed into New York. Yeah, it landed in a village in Africa and parts of it landed on somebody's house. Okay, we're pretty much good. All right, what do we got? Insiders at Space, for, at Space Force reporting that data indicates that the rocket has indeed re-entered, but wait for confirmation, i.e. it correctly fails to show up on radar the next time around. Presumably somewhere between the Middle East and Australia. Stay tuned. Got it. Well, once again, this is an approximated track, guys. We don't know for sure. Northern Saudi Arabia. Let me see. Yeah. See how it's like a very distinct dot in that picture, uh, uh, Kato? See, see how it's, a, it's like a, it's a dot that's kind of twinkling? That means it's not, it's not close to breaking up. That means it started to re-enter, but it's not, it's not like, pfft, and it certainly isn't near the ground. I think the hype in space surrounding SLS and Starship have made more people interested in this. Yeah, possibly. What's that, Ambroso? Yeah, it, I, I agree. I, I, I think it re-entered. What's that, Duel? What do you got? Disintegrated over the Indian Ocean. Yeah, Duel, that's that footage that I was talking about. Nemes, let me see, what do you have? Some guy got it in Calabria. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. That definitely looks like it. Can they get into trouble for this? Uh, if it keeps happening and endangering people. I mean, yeah, 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 of course. I mean, have eyes. I'm, I'm fairly confident we have a word for uncontrolled ballistic objects that land in other people's countries that are launched from other people's countries. Yeah, pretty sure we have a word for that. Shall we play a game? How about a nice game of chat? No, it won't devolve into a nuclear war. It's just a little hyperbole on my part. Probably not. You're definitely going to piss someone off. Maybe the person that it lands on? I don't know. Greetings, Professor Falcon. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. No, let's play global thermonuclear war. <laughs> yeah, that footage from Oman duel is the one I was talking about. Yeah, Skull, I mean, well, you wouldn't want to piss Gandhi off if you're playing a game of Civ. He will reduce you to nothing very fast. No problem, duel. Yeah. I love how they just kept that in the game. That's really funny to me. So if you're, if you're not a Civilization player, uh, there was a glitch uh, in the game. And for whatever reason, Gandhi, who was supposed to be very peaceful, he's a man that preached peace, you know, and understanding to, you know, for, well, for a lot of good reasons, right? Um, in Civ, they accidentally, like, said it so he's the most aggressive person. So, like, if you if you make him mad, he'll just nuke you. It's like, oh, sorry, one of my ships drifted into your dr drifted into your territory. Nuke. Good night. Confirm sighting from Israel. Let's see. 
do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thomas, what do you got? Oh, that's cool. Just join. Looks like it's down. Yeah, this is the approximated track of where it came down, but uh, of where it would be if it didn't come down. But uh, it, I'm pretty sure it came down over here. I forget the reason, Yarg. It was. It's been told to me before. Yeah, there you go. It's actually an underflow problem. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that know all about it. Nice. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's a bunch of nerds in this chat. But I say that as I'm tracking a piece of space debris and teaching people about orbital, mecha orbital mechanics. Who's the real winner here, okay? Hmm. Chad, I feel dumb. If I hold a marker in place and I spin a globe, then I take the map part off of the globe, will the line actually be a wave? Yes, Primo. It'll be a sine wave. So it's called a ground track. <laughs> oh, look what look what auto populated. Oh, oh. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, this is a ground track. Too soon, too soon, too soon. <laughs> Chinese rocket just passed up over the Philippines. Wait, what? Hold on. The Philippines? When was this posted? Six minutes ago. Uh, hold on. This is coming from Newsistan. All right, what do we got here? SpaceX stream went up. Okay. Yeah, it was that one. Got it. It's a troll. Nice. Man, I went the whole night without getting one. And then I was like, wait a minute. That's the same... I didn't unmute it though, thank God. Oh, bent. Yeah, get off Twitter or I'll have you bent. You knew. No, 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 come on. Here, check this out. Another possible video of the Chinese rocket over Oman. Yeah. Yeah, that looks. Okay, so guys, look at this footage. All right, this is this is not troll footage. This is right. See that? Yeah, that's what something re-entering looks like. It looks. It just looks like a huge streak, huge comet across the sky. It, the the booster hasn't breaking out broken up here. If it breaks up, it'll look like a kind of like not a firework, but like you know the firework that pops and then all the the stuff comes down and it looks like a willow tree. That's what it'll look like. But the stage is still in one piece. It was still in one piece over Oman, but we didn't see it in Perth, and nobody said anything from New Zealand, and there was that one troll in the Philippines. So, um, yeah, that's you. You know, in the time between Oman and Australia, that's enough. For, that's enough for a reentry to happen. Um, yeah, it most likely came down out in the middle of the out in the middle of the ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's probably down. Uh, we'll wait on confirmation here, but we'll we'll see. Yeah, Lid Gary, something like that. This one is nice, but I can't post the link. Freak your Sam Sam. I can see the links that are posted, even though it pops you out. Yeah, we'll switch over to GTA Racing here in a little bit. Yeah, I don't know where that footage is coming from, Freakier, considering the place where it re-entered was during the day, but, I don't know. Kyle, look at the, look at the goddamn link. Look at the link URL. I'm not clicking on that, dude. Fail. Just fail. It says Rickroll in the damn URL. Bro. I 
didn't even notice that. You done messed up, eh, Ron? You done messed up, eh, Ron? <laughs> you never had it. You never had your URL. Uh, hello? Hi. Hi. I need you to explain to me how how brown track work. Okay, I wrap this piece of paper around a rock because this is the best approximation I could find. I need you. <laughs> You wrapped a piece of paper around a rock. Yes. And you want me to draw a no, line going No, no, no. You're going to you're going to spin the rock while I hold the marker in place. What is happening right now? I'm trying to understand like spin it how the earth would spin. Just Okay. Okay. Put put the Sharpie down. No, 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 you're not this. I have to physically see this. <laughs> okay. okay, wait, okay. Okay, now spin rock. Okay, now the open piece of paper. That's a straight line. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this thing that hasn't been done in a little while. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw something, okay? All right. So you have an earth, you have earth, right? Something yeah. is spinning around it like that, yeah. right? So if you took, if you, all right, chat. See, look, there's your planet. Okay, you, if you can draw it now. I just needed to know that when you spun this rock, I was going to the get paper, a relative. The paper's crinkled. It's not gonna see, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. So you could if, do paint. If you, if you just took, you took a, if you had a globe, right, and you took the the printed part off and you made a map the map would look like this all right it would look like that all right now the ground track takes this and makes this a square okay right so right your orbit when the thing is like before you you take it and you make it into a, a rectangle right the orbit would look something like that right and then when you stretch it right into the ground track it turns into a sinusoidal a sinusoidal thing like that you're stretching the shape this still doesn't <sighs> superimposing a 3d shape onto a 2d map is never going to be exactly right right anybody that knows 3d modeling and uvs you know what i'm talking about it's never going to be exactly right. You're always going to get some squash and stretch. The reason why it turns into a sine wave is because you're taking... If you unwrap the crust of the Earth and you made it a flat thing, it wouldn't be a perfect square. Why? Circles are not squares, right? So they stretch it to fit it on a 2D plane. And stretching it and then the track overlay it on the stretched version of the map, right? That's when you get the That's sign. when you get the sinusoidal wave. But if I just draw a line across a map, like if I just draw a line across a globe and then, and, and that like, okay, so if I took a part of the globe from California to New York and I drew a straight line and I took that off the piece of, off the globe, that's not going to be sinusoidal, right? It'll look like a straight line. Oh, it'll look, Okay. It'll look like a straight line. Yeah, when you stretch the image, what happens? It, you're stretching it at the top of the bottom, right? So the line goes from being straight to being a sine wave. Okay. <laughs> Chat, I'm sorry. He just dropped 100 viewers. <laughs> I needed this. <laughs>
I'll show you. Please click. Dude. Yeah. See? Okay. <laughs> Is Earth. See, this is what I would expect, is the red line, but you're saying it's not the red line, it's yes, the black because, line. Be, because globes, globes, if you unpeel an orange, you're not going to get, you're not going to get a square, you're going to get this. Yes. Right? If you take this image and you stretch it to be a rectangle, that line will become sinusoidal. But then why are the, why did they draw, they drew the black line when the... Orange was a circle, and it still did the sinusoidal. It's, that's not sinusoidal. That's just up and down. Okay, my point is... Doesn't it have something to do with the tilt of the Earth, too? Um, no. Why would it have something to do with the tilt of the Earth, sweetie? Because isn't that what that orange is showing? That if you change where the equator, it like yeah, but orbital parameters are denoted based off of the uh, off of well, two major things can help it you, you help uh, help determine. An, well, actually, there's six, but so one of the big things that you can use to help determine an orbit is argument of perigee. You could tell you could take the longitude of ascending node, or you this is the big one, um, the inclination. Inclination and eccentricity are the ones you want to know the most. So we we. Our orbit, orbital inclination, is based off of the equator, which already takes into account Earth's axial tilt. Okay. So if you picture the equator, uh, the equator and the prime meridian like a XY, right? Yeah. We base our orbits off of that. So the argument of perigee is how the angle that the perigee is relative to the, well, not the prime meridian, but yeah, pr actually pretty much it. I forget if it's a prime meridian or vernal equinox. It might be the vernal equinox, but that's another story. So basically we can figure out the angle of where the orbit is relative to, yeah, it is the vernal equinox. It's radial, radial out, or no, heliocentric ascending node. It's been a while. So basically, long story short, we use longitude and latitude to kind of determine this. So you don't need to take into account axial tilt. So this is- Because it's to the local orientation of the planet. Okay, I think. Hi, Azmec. I don't know, Chip. Fun, but you learn. <laughs> like I'm like. All right, here. Look, we we use Earth. We you don't need to take into account axial tilt. Axial tilt is something else. All right, look. That's guy. That's a guy. Okay. Is this guy gonna draw a straight line on his. Wait, who's YouTube? Who's YouTube video? This, Marco Alatori. Okay. Long story short, the ground track looks weird because you're taking a sphere shape and you're putting it into a, a rectangle. Because, like I said, if you took the sphere shape, you'd have to do this, right? Right. And then you'd have to stretch certain parts. Right. It's racing time, yep. Yeah. I think she doesn't know about orbital inclination. I know about orbital inclination. Brimo's played Kerbal before. She knows what it means. So you see, you got to stretch it. Stretch it is what stretching it is what makes that line all weird. See, look. Oh. That's a good visualization, right? Yeah, that makes an L. Yeah, see, there it is. See, on a yeah. map, if you stretch, if you stretch the spherical image, into. Right. Somebody just said, "Skip ahead." He draws a line. Skip ahead. He draws a line. Okay. He's drawing a line. Here, I'll make sure to post this link in chat to give credit where credit is due. Here, I'm sorry. Okay. That link's broken. All right. Anyway, guys, the stage probably came down already. Yeah, sorry. I figured the stage was already down, and this was a teaching moment, so... Watch. Eight minutes until the approximate orbit gets... Okay, we will. Yeah, see? There it is. And now if you made this into a sphere, it would turn into a straight line. Oh. So watch. 
Yeah, this is this guy's playing KSP from 1998 though. <laughs> Where did it re-enter? Somewhere south of uh, India. Oh, he's yeah, he's demonstrating. Him. That's a Molina orbit. Yeah, high. That's a high, ex, highly eccentric orbit. See how the sine wave, the sine wave actually loops. Yeah. But once again, it's just because, like, look at Antarctica in this picture. You know that Antarctica doesn't look like that. No, you're right. So, once again, the, the track goes from a straight line to the sine wave because you're stretching a globe into a square. I can show you with UVs, but I'll, I'll do it some other time. Okay. Don't take stuff for granted. <laughs> I just, yeah, no, I'm still confused by it. Like, but at this point, I've just accepted that that's how it do. I'll, 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 I can show Discovery. you this later no with three models. Yeah, It'll this be is, easier. This is one of those Brimo doesn't have spatial awareness things to, like, understand nice this without physically doing it. Yeah, as so. <laughs> gotta give it a sub. So once again, guys, the the approximate the approximate track is showing it right, kind of. All right, baby. Love you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll I'll explain this more to you tomorrow. Okay. If you want, if you yeah. still care. <laughs> um. Molino orbits are cool, man. Lightning orbits. Oh, she left the trash. And the, oh, and the Sharpie. Nice. Yeah, she's trying to learn, Jackery. The fact that she even bothers to try and learn the stuff like like this is very endearing to me, to be honest with you. Sharpie sniff when? Yeah. Did it crash? Yeah. It, I'm pretty sure it re-entered already, guys. So once again, that's just an approximate track. Video of the rocket breaking up over the Indian Ocean. I swear if this is a Rickroll. Yep, okay. You know that I know that DQW4 is Rickroll, right? Like, it's just, yeah, okay. John Krause is still really hoping for it to fly over Florida. I mean that honestly. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, John, the, yeah, she's a keeper. Yeah, the fact that she even cares freaking means a lot to me. So once again, the last footage we saw was from a Twitter user called Luffy. This was the last we saw, and this was it going out over the Indian Ocean. Yeah, that's definitely starting to break up. It would have, it wouldn't have made it to Perth. No way. That's the this. If it if it didn't hit, if there was no atmosphere on Earth, this is where it would have kept going. I love the energy between you two. Yep, yep. What's Jonathan saying? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, China now reporting from Weibo that the rocket re-entered at 0224 UTC at 72.47 east, 2.65 north, which is right over the Maldives. If correct, if correct, it will be interesting to see if we get reports from there. Yeah, those guys would be able to see it, sure. That's pronounced Luffy, by the way, okay? Am I okay in Montreal? Yep, yep, yep. Maldives! Now, Tech, I wanna, I, I know I'm pronouncing Maldives wrong every time. You know, I'm usually really good with geography. And I know how to say it correctly, but I just like saying Maldives. I don't always Maldives, but when I do, I prefer Maldives. Stay thirsty, my friends. Ever do KSP multiplayer? No. When they say re-entered, what, what does that actually mean? Uh, it's on a suborbital trajectory specter, and it's not orbiting anymore. Can you check Twitter by trending location? Might be a good way to find relevant links. That's what your job is, chat. Jeez. I hope, the, I hope somebody caught the so we can recover the debris. Ain't nobody getting part of that back. Is that the rocket? Well, Afro, this is where it was. Um, this is where it would be if there's no... Um, if Earth had no atmosphere, but... <laughs> nope, still atmosphere. Um, I'm waiting kind of from official confirmation, but... 
we're uh, I think we're reasonably certain it came down right around here, right at the right just before the predicted reentry from the 18th Space Control Squadron, which is the uh, division in the Space Force. Pretty sure it came down right here. So Avro, it, it re-entered out in the ocean. It didn't come down on anybody. Thank God, that would be good. Lewis Maxer bought us pole tomorrow. Hamverbot. Hamverbot. Up by Jacksonville, looking south. Uh, okay, so the track went over here. If you're in Florida, look up. Hopefully you don't see anything. Because if you see something right now flaming through the sky, it's not that stage. I will tell you that right now. What exactly is coming back down? It's a, a core stage that's about the size of a semi-truck, Zelly. Uh, th that launched a Chinese space station module into space. It, it, they lost control. Well, they didn't lose control of it. They, Discovery. Zilli, that throttle. stage doesn't have a probe core on it to speak in Kerbal terms, so it's been ballistic since it's separated from the module. Yo, Hurt, what up, dude? Can I get a link, please? I live in... Okay. Yeah, Slee, no problem. Yo, Hurt, I got the... um, I got that thing, bro. We're good. Had to go down to the post office, but we are good, my dude. That haircut, though. Yeah, you like that? Dude, no more mullet, which kind of kind of sucks, but... I said if Elon landed his dang grain silo, dude, that, uh, that I'd give myself a boot camp cut. And, you know, once you float something out on the internet, you don't get it back. So... Is this China thing going to hit you in the head? No, that's... Nah, nah, we good, man. It broke up over the ocean. This is just an approximation of where it would be if it, uh, if Earth had no atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere slowed it down and it surfed a wave of fire into the ocean. Viking funeral, my dude. From Haifa, Israel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let me take a look here. Sleep. Oh yeah, see how it's got a, see how it's got a trail. That's a good indication that it is surfing a huge wave of plasma. Yeah, that's wow. Yeah, let's look. Any parts coming off of it? Nope, no parts coming off of it. Yes, Lee, this is great footage, man. Thank you. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, see, it, it looks like re-entering debris looks like a comet. It looks exactly like that. You're wearing by the numbers. All right, guys. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump into play, doing some GTA racing now. Will you keep this hairstyle like this for a while? I don't know, girl. I like it because you don't have to, you don't have to deal with it. It's really easy. But the mullet was dope, man. Get after it. See what we can do, man. But yeah, I got that thing, dude. Really cool. I haven't told these guys yet. Some of them know. But, uh, yeah. I don't want to be... Dio, hey, we dodged a bullet this time. But once again, fellas, here, just to wrap it up. Like, I don't mean to be like, oh my god, this is so bad. I, I you know, I didn't think I wanted to cover the track. It, it, you know, the re-entry tonight. Uh, but, you know, it it warrants discussion. Like, you, you can't do stuff like this. You know, if they, if they keep doing it, it's only a matter of time before some, something comes down in the wrong place. You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta really clean up after yourself in space, and it doesn't matter who does it. Uh, but I did see a lot of, what, okay, so like, I saw a ton of misinformation about this thing. Like, a ton no of misinformation from all the all the news, all people talking about it, people asking me about it. So, you know, I kind of figured at the last second to just jump in on it and show people what's going on and how, how, this, act, how this stuff actually works. You know, it doesn't, that doesn't make it okay. But, yeah, uh, you know, I figured try to use it 